Welcome to another episode of Do It Yourself Gourmet. This morning, we are here to cook some malto meal. Malto meal is a hot cereal here in America, and it is delicious. It's actually well fortified with a bunch of vitamins and all that good business, too. However, it's kind of tricky to cook. It's one of those things that if you don't keep the water moving and make the cooking happen just right, it could clump up something fierce. And now what we're going to wait to do is have the water boiling, because you want a good, strong water boil when it comes to making malto meal. We'll come back when that's ready, and we'll start the mix in. Now we've got the water boiling, and it's time for the fun. Let's crank this stuff up and keep doing it. What we got, we're going to start stirring the water, and you want to create a little vortex in there. It's what you got to do, because when you drop this stuff in, it's going to go, and it can't stick to each other. Otherwise, it's going to be lumpy business. So now, you do that. You start sprinkling it in. Um, I've never really used a measuring for malto meal, but what you got to look for is when it starts boiling up and in, that it all stays rather solid, and that'll just dictate this thickness. I'm working with about a quarter cup to a third cup so far, and I'm still stirring it. What they want is two-thirds of a cup for four servings, and i got a pretty good measuring hand, so we're putting two-thirds of a cup inside of here, a little more extra after the first boil, what you want to do is allow the first batch to absorb. And once it starts to absorb, you can see how much more room you got. Now as it starts to boil up, and it will boil up, what you got to do is be careful that it doesn't boil over. And when it starts to add volume because of the water inside of there, that is when you want to have the fire lowered so that it doesn't completely boil over. But you do want a nice good heat while it's cooking. As you can see, it's got a nice good rolling boil on it. Check that out, I let it still for a minute and it's nice and mixed in, you don't see any lumps. As long as you keep it moving, all the water is gonna get around the grains and that's where malto meal needs to be to properly cook. Now it's been about three minutes or so that it's going at this point, maybe two and a half. But what I'm gonna do is shut it off, stir it, let it rest, and then I'm gonna grab my add-ins on it. Now add-ins for malto meal can be anything from butter, a little bit of salt, milk, cream, Whatever you like in it, some kinds of honey, maybe a little bit of jelly. But today, we're just showing you the base. The race is up to you. Do it yourself, Gourmet. Thank you.